Today on Engineering News. Wait, 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 wait. I got this. Huff Post contributor. Today on Engineering Newswire, brought to you by Interpower, the premier supplier of power system components for worldwide markets, we're 3D printing our own PEZ dispensers, transforming sitting chairs into rowing machines, and sending messages that will self-destruct. Hot Pop Factory, a 3D printed jewelry maker, has taken their 3D scanning and printing obsession to a new level. Remember Pez? You know, the chalk flavored spring loaded candy that was ejected from your favorite cartoon character's head? If you don't know what I'm talking about, your childhood is pretty lame. Utilizing an Xbox Connect for scanning, Reconstruct Me software, the mesh mixer tool from Autodesk, some open source hacking, and a MakerBot replicator, Hot Pop created a fleet of customized busts based on a company's staff. Putting their inner child to work, the team removed a few princess heads from Pez dispensers and replaced them with the employee statuettes. The Hot Pop team scanned the entire staff under the assumption that they were conducting an unannounced research project. After digitalizing and some minor tweaking to incorporate the attachment mechanism, the employees were able to eat Pez from the neck of their tiny likenesses. Mmm. Pez. Everyone has their dirty little secrets, and sometimes they get out to the wrong people. And well, we all know how that can end up. Just pack your bags, change your hair, and start going by the name Brewski Stevens. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, is investigating self-destructing electronics to prevent such classified information from getting into enemy hands with its new Vanishing Programmable Resources program. The main purpose of vapor is to produce electronics that are as rugged and able to do the job as conventional electronics using off-the-shelf parts, but with a self-destruct capability that will cause them to dissolve on command. The idea is to develop electronic components out of materials that function properly, but when triggered will become vulnerable to the surrounding environment and dissolve. The breakdown of such devices would be triggered by a signal sent from command or any number of possible environmental conditions, such as temperature. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Wait, what? Guys! To be light or to be safe, tis the typical question for compact electrical vehicles. Until now, we've had ultra-compact, lightweight electric cars that compromised on safety, and larger EVs with heavier frames and better crumple zones but poor battery range. Now, engineers from 16 top technology firms are looking to create the best of both worlds with the Vizio M project. Researchers have begun work on the research prototype vehicle dubbed Mute, with an innovative monocoque body structure that combines lightweight materials for good stability while keeping weight to a minimum. Recently, at an undisclosed test site near Munich, engineers tested the chassis as well as the electronic stability program. You know, the fancy marketing speak for anti-lock braking and torque vectoring each proved a success. Plans for the passenger compartment include carbon fiber reinforced plastic, much like the composite materials already used in aircraft and luxury sports cars. And developers are looking to keep the drive system weight down with an efficient asynchronous electric engine and a transmission system that could reduce vehicle weight by up to 15%. Things are pretty quiet when the Vizio M engineers took the prototype for a spin, but they didn't have the benefit of a video producer with an affliction for Mario Karts. Let's see that clip again. The Korea Institute of Robot and Convergence has released a nurse droid Cairo M5, a compact transportation robot that can carry supplies, sterilize and deodorize the air, and alert nurses when the elderly patients need their diapers changed. The three foot tall, 176 pound sniffing machine performs daily wake up calls, informs residents when food is served, schedules their daily exercise, and has an alarm function should an emergency arise. Besides sniffing the air to detect soiled diapers, Cairo also has a pair of handles and doubles as a robotic walker. Cairo features bumper sensors, an obstacle detecting laser, and ultrasonic range finders. Its front facing camera allows nurses to keep an eye on things at their station without having to make the rounds themselves during the night. And congratulations to my colleague Chris Fox for his appearance on Huffington Post Lives. 
population is getting older, and now, more than ever, we're left to take care of ourselves. Hey, it's a disposable culture. Since we're going to be left to our own devices, researchers are at work on technologies that will assist us in everyday situations. One technology is the intelligent armchair from the Fraunhofer Institute called GWOS. On the outside, GWOS looks like a conventional armchair. Even when you sit down, you don't notice any difference. But first impressions can be deceiving. A glimpse inside the armchair reveals microsystem technology that measures key bodily functions. A tablet PC transmits that data to a television, and the user can view trends in pulse rate, blood oxygen, saturation, blood pressure, and weight. A virtual health assistant uses the recorded data to come up with exercise plans tailored to the user and updates these plans based on the sedentary's progress. And now the twist. If the values fall outside the prescribed range, the armchair transforms into a rowing machine. The armrests become oars and a support for the rower's feet pops out below the seat. Time to get fit while you sit. Trademark. Time to get fit while you sit. Wow! Last year, 100 senior citizens tested GWOS and ranked it as the top new assistance product, further proving that you're never too old to play with your Transformers. Another fine story from another non-Huffington Post contributor. One time! Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For PDND TV, I'm Chris Fox and this has been your Engineering Newswire. <laughs>